Welcome to a new world to work with Amazon Q. Hi, my name is Syed and welcome to our Claydesk channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and place your comments because this is going to be one of the newest and greatest things that Amazon has ever come up with, right? So what you can do with Amazon Q, I'm gonna talk about what it is and how does it work. And of course, how you can actually implement within your own workplace or business, right? So when you chat with Amazon Q, it provides immediate relevant information and advice to help streamline tasks, speed decision making, and help spark creativity and innovation at work. By the way, Q is named after the character by the same name in James Bond movies or in the Star Trek television shows, right? Depending on which AWS executive you ask. So let's dive right in and let me tell you how it actually works. All right, so Amazon Q can help you get fast, relevant answers to questions. It can solve problems, it can generate content and take actions using the data and expertise found in your company's information, repositories, code, and enterprise systems. Well, unlike ChatGPT, for example, which is sort of like browsing the entire internet and fetching your information, Amazon Q is specific to your work environment, which is very, very powerful, right? So initially, Q can help you know, people understand the capabilities of AWS and troubleshoot issues. People will be able to talk with it in communication apps such as Salesforce, Slack, uh, for example, software developers, text editing applications. And the CEO of AWS, Adam Slipsky of AWS said on stage at reInvent, by the way, it will also appear in AWS Online Management Console. How good is that? Now, Amazon Q can provide citations of documents, for example, to back up its chat responses. The tool can automatically make changes to source code to developers, uh, which have less work to do. The service will be available to connect more than 40 enterprise systems, right? According to AWS. And with Q, people can discuss information that is stored in, for example, Microsoft 365, right? Or Dropbox or Salesforce or Zendesk, along with AWS S3 data storage service. So you'll be able to upload and ask questions about documents while interacting with Q. So it really helps you get fast, relevant answers to all of your questions and solves problems, including taking actions using the data uh, found within your company's repositories. Now, Amazon uh, Q comes or has many areas of expertise. For example, users can access Amazon Q through the AWS Management Console or individual companies' documentation pages, right? Developer environments like Slack and other third-party apps. And there are several areas of expertise that you can use Amazon Q. For example, like I said, Amazon QuickSight, Connect, Supply Chain, well-architected framework, and of course, you can use it in your business as well. So let's explore each one of those areas because it will help you determine how you can actually implement um, Amazon Q. Great, first, let's talk about your business. So how can Amazon Q can be tailored to your business and can do so by connecting it to the company data information and systems. Made simple, more than 40 built-in connectors so you have a connector, it connects to your environment, and that's all there is to do. And then you can start asking questions to Amazon Q. So business users, like for example, if you're in marketing, or if you're a project manager, or you're a program manager, or you're a sales rep, right? You can have tailored conversations, solve problems, generate content, take actions, and many more things you can do. Amazon Q is aware of which systems they can access. So they can ask detailed questions and get tailored results that include only information that are authorized to see. So it's not gonna give you a universal uh, result, rather a very specific outcome. So transform your business with Amazon Q, which is a generative AI assistant that can answer questions, provide summaries, like I said, generate content, complete tasks, based on data and information in your enterprise system. Now, this all happens through its web interface. So employees, for example, within the organization can work smarter, move faster, and drive more impact. 
Next, let's take a look at uh, how Amazon Q works with the AWS platform, right? Like I mentioned earlier, it's, it will be available. It's available in the Amazon Management Console. So Amazon Q is an expert on patterns in the AWS well-architected framework, which is the best practices documentation and solution implementations, which really makes it easier and faster for you to explore new services and capabilities learn unfamiliar technologies and architect solutions. I think that's probably one of the greatest benefit if you're already working on the AWS platform or if you're a DevOps engineer or solutions architect, this is where you can see the power of Amazon Q itself, okay? All right, so it's available in the management console. And not only that, let me give an important heads up here. It's also um, available within the IDEs, integrated development environment. For example, if you're using Visual Code, well, you have Amazon Q uh, available within VS Code, okay? And I'm gonna create some videos and, and demos so you can actually see Amazon Q in action as it becomes available, right? More and more. So what are, uh, for example, you can ask Amazon Q, what are the ways to build a web application on AWS? And it will pro you know, provide you a list of potential services like uh, AWS Amplify, Lambda, um, EC2, uh, Cloud, for example, right? With the advantages, each links and getting started resources. So this is really the starting where you can start building applications. All right, so Amazon Q can work with any of the models, by the way, found on Amazon Bedrock, AWS repository of AI models, which includes the Meta Llama 2 and the Anthropic Cloud 2. Um, AWS also said that customers who use Q often choose which model works best for them. So they connect to the Bedrock API for that model uh, and use that to learn their data policies and workflow, right? And then you can ask questions based on that. So it's really, really powerful when you're working with the AWS platform itself. All right, next area of expertise is Amazon QuickSight, which is a unified business intelligence BS service built in, uh, built for the cloud, right? That offers interactive dashboards, paginated reports, and embedded analytics, plus natural language query capabilities. So you can ask questions in your natural language, Amazon Q, in QuickSight enhances business analysts and business users productivity by you know, using generative BI capabilities to build compelling visuals, summarizing insights, answer data questions, and build data stories using natural language. So with generative BI capabilities in Amazon Q in QuickSight, the BI users can build, discover, share actionable insight. And for example, they can also uh, use narratives in seconds using intuitive natural language experiences. So if you're an analyst, for example, you can quickly build visuals and calculations and even refine visuals using natural language. Business users can self-serve data and insights using natural languages also. And you don't no longer have to wait for BI teams to update the data and dashboards for every new question. You can simply ask Amazon Q and it's going to go and fetch the information from the repositories, right? Whether it's querying, whether it's contextual summaries and generated narratives, it can understand and respect your existing governance identities, roles and permissions. So it knows whether you have the permission or not and use this information to personalize its interactions. So for example, if a user doesn't have permission to access certain data without Amazon Q, they cannot access it using Amazon Q either, okay? So that's really, really powerful when you're working with Amazon QuickSight, which really allows business users self-serving meaningful insight with ease. Even if they ask vague questions in natural language, they'll receive comprehensive and contextual answers that explains the data completely using visuals and narratives. So that's pretty powerful. All right, let's move to the next area of expertise, which is, of course, Amazon Connect, okay? So uh, uh, Amazon Q works with Amazon Connect, and in Amazon Connect, which is the contact center service, Amazon Q helps the customer service agents provide better customer service. 
How does that work, right, within Connect itself? Well, it uses real-time conversation with the customer along with relevant company content to automatically recommend what to say or what actions an agent should take to better assist customers. So basically, deliver agents the responses, actions, and information they need to solve issues in real time. That's pretty powerful. Amazon Q in Connect which is an evolution of Amazon Connect Wisdom, by the way, uses generative AI to deliver agents suggested responses. And then of course, followed by actions to address those customer questions. The result is of course, faster issue resolution and improved customer satisfaction. Not only that, by the way, knowledge articles, wikis, and frequently asked questions can be spread across separate repositories and agents, you know, with the waste time trying to navigate all of these different sources of information. Well, now they don't have to, right? Amazon Q can help them. It leverages the real-time conversation with the customer and then, of course, connects accordingly. So agents can use natural language to search across connected knowledge sources and they receive those responses accordingly. So very, very powerful when you're working with Amazon Connect itself. All right, last area of expertise for Amazon Q is supply chain, which is coming soon. It's not here yet, but it's going to be, it's in the pipeline, right? So for example, inventory managers, supply and demand planners, and others will be able to ask and get intelligent answers about what is happening in the supply chain. Why is it happening and what actions to take? So for example, they will also be able to explore what if scenarios to understand the trade-offs between different supply chain choices. Now, AWS supply chain basically unifies data and provides machine learning powered actionable insights built in contextual collaboration and demand planning. Amazon Q on top of it, which is of course the generative artificial intelligence, right? Powered assistant that is specifically designed to work and can be tailored to your customer's business which is, of course, like I said, it'll be available soon, right? So your inventory managers, like I mentioned earlier, they'll be able to use the power of Amazon Q to ask any questions anywhere, any you know, along the supply chain itself. All right, next, let's take a look at some of the key benefits of using Amazon Q itself, right? First, it engages in conversations, like I mentioned earlier, solve problems. So you don't have to be specific. It can be even a vague question. It's going to fetch you that information, right? So Amazon Q is your business expert that can streamline common tasks like summarizing long documents, generating drafts of emails or articles, conducting research on topics, or doing comparative analysis even. Amazon Q can help complete certain tasks, for example, reducing the time that employees spend on repetitive work, like, for example, filing tickets or creating new cases. So if you have, let's say, something that you want to generate a JIRA ticket on, it will do that for you, right? And that's going to save a lot of time, especially if you're a solutions architect or a DevOps engineer, or you're working as a cloud engineer, and you're working with JIRA tickets. Amazon Q also is your AWS expert, can help you with your daily tasks like resolving bugs or optimized code for higher performance. Very powerful, guys. And of course, secondly, for example, like, like it says, understand your company's information code and system. Well, it knows the repositories, it knows the knowledge base, it knows the wiki, and it's gonna go and fetch the information for you so you don't have to dig around and wait for all these answers. Third, Amazon Q understand and respect your existing ident identities, roles, and permissions, and uses this information to personalize its interaction. So for example, if a user doesn't have permission to access certain data without Amazon Q, they can't access it using Amazon Q either, right? And of course, Amazon Q lastly is built with security and privacy in mind, so that, of course, to help customers meet their most all the time. All right, next, let's take a look at what you can actually do. You know, what's, for example, here's a question that I can pose to Amazon Q, and let's see Amazon Q in action and what we can ask Amazon Q. For example, we can say, 
uh, what are the latest guidelines for logo usage, right? Or you can ask, how do I apply for a company credit card and get fast answers, right? Plus links to the relevant sources. For example, brand portals, logo repositories, companies TME policies, and card applications. Or another question like you see right here, what is the financial impact of delayed replenishment orders, right? In the AWS supply chain application. And I will reply, the delays will cause 20 of your fast moving products to go out of stock. With a revenue impact of 150K, you could expedite shipments to reduce the revenue impact by 95K at a cost of 2.4K. Well, there you go. See, it's very, very specific. It's not generalizing. It's actually telling you, fetching data from your existing information and then giving you specifics. Let's take a look at some additional questions that you can ask as far as Amazon QuickSight is concerned, or if you're working with the management council, right? For example, you can ask, what are the ways to build a web application on AWS in the AWS management council? So Amazon Q will provide you a list of potential services, like you can use AWS Amplify to build a web app. You can use a serverless, a serverless app using Lambda, you can build that, uh, or use Amazon EC2 with the advantages of each and of course, it's going to give you the links as well. Or a question here that you see, you can ask in Amazon QuickSight, show me sales by region by month as a stack bar chart. And Amazon Q is going to reply and come up with um, easily add to the dashboard. If you need to refine the visualization, just say, hey, change the bar chart into a Sankey diagram or show countries instead of regions. So it's really, really... Um, natural language processing, right? And that's very, very powerful. Another thing you can say, Amazon Q and Connect, for example, uses real-time questions uh, from customers such as, I want to change my rental car reservations. Will I be charged a fee? So if that's the question you ask, Amazon Q will automatically generate a response for a contact center agent to quickly communicate how the company's change fee policies apply to this customer. It can guide the agent subsequently through needed steps to update the reservations. So some real use cases of using Amazon Q right here. All right, finally, I'm going to talk about the Amazon Q pricing. Well, right now it's Amazon Q Business or Amazon Q Builder, right? There are two plans available. Um, it's $20 a month or $25 per user, well, not a month, per month, per user, right? So keep that in mind. So the pricing structure, so if you choose Amazon Q Business, for example, then your business expert, you can help solve problems, generate content, find insights, data, take actions based on your company's data information and systems. If you choose the Amazon Q Builder, for example, then you can do all of the above, right? All of the options that are available with Q Business. Plus, you can also turn your natural language instructions into SQL queries. For example, if you say, hey, go and search for how many products uh, or how many inventory items do I have within a certain warehouse, and it's going to go and get that information for you, right? That's available in the Q Builder. Um, another couple of other additional things that are available within the Q Builder, for example, it comp completes your tasks. It enables enterprise guardrails, okay? So those are the areas that are uh, within the two pricing structures. So... There you go. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and post your questions in the comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer. It's a very, very powerful tool that Amazon just announced, and many, many new features. I've talked about the area of expertise, the capabilities, what Amazon Q is, and of course, how does it work. So thank you so much. My name is Syed, and I'll see you guys next time.